Well, in other news tonight, Leon, a party DJ is awaiting extradition back to Fairfax County where he is facing rape charges. Joseph Rivera was arrested in Las Vegas, accused of videotaping women performing sex acts without their knowledge. Some of those women might not even know their victims. Chris Van Cleve joins us from the Alexandria portion of Fairfax County tonight with more. Chris? Well, Allison, that's because they were unconscious in some cases. So as you said, police are concerned there may be other victims out there and they don't even know they've been victimized. Now, police laid out their case in these court documents filed back in May. It wasn't until last night that they found the suspect in, of all places, Sin City. Fairfax County Police alleged Joseph Rivera was a whole lot more than an area party DJ. According to this search warrant affidavit, he's suspected of videotaping and photographing sexual assaults on unconscious women. He's facing charges of rape, sexual battery, and unlawful filming. Police say there are several victims and believe he'd been at it for years. This individual would have had access to many, many women around the region over the past years because of his job. The 34-year-old was arrested last night in Las Vegas, but his last known address was here in Alexandria. A man who asked not to be identified said he was the suspect's roommate. I was shocked and everyone else is shocked as well. So. Do you believe the charges? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Um, because I know they're true. In fact, the man says he even alerted police to the alleged crimes. Um, well, I would think that anyone would call the police if you knew what was going on. So once I found out what was going on, then I let the police know. The news came as an unsettling surprise to neighbors. It's crazy. You never know what to expect. Um, you never know who's living amongst your neighborhood. Um, I wouldn't have guessed, though. Alexandria City Police and Fairfax County Police worked on this case together. The suspect is going to be extradited back to Virginia, where he will face charges. We are live in Alexandria tonight. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.